My name is Nancy Puludi. I am Professor of Information Systems Management at the Athens University of Economics and Business in Greece. Information Systems is where technology meets management or society. So uh, we try to explore how and how and why technology, information technology in particular, is used by people in organizations or in society at, at large. And uh, this is what brings us to the Digimatex project because we're very interested in looking at uh, how children use technology, what they think about the way in which they use technology. And uh, we have been involved in this project in uh, collecting data, interviewing children and doing online focus groups. So we had small groups of uh, three to four children, um, typically of the same uh, gender, talking about their experiences with technology, their use of social media, and uh, their use of uh, the internet at large and what it meant for them. One thing that uh, we really loved about this experience was uh, the, the spontaneity of the children and how they interacted with each other. And even though we were in an online environment, uh, they were quite happy to share experiences and speak candidately about uh, their views. So uh, that was one thing that was surprising. And then, of course, the things they said, um, for example, their experiences with bullying. It's one thing to expect that there is some bullying going on at schools, but then to hear um, the, the children talk about uh, these experiences and how they dealt with this. Uh, also, that they were conscious, maybe, that they were spending a lot of time online. Uh, and some of them were actually trying to manage this, while others had given up on managing uh, their experiences of um, their relationships with their parents and how their parents were trying perhaps to control how much time they were spending online at the same time that the children were giving them instructions on how to use technology or giving them ideas and guidance so if the family was going to buy a TV, a smart TV, then it would be the children actually providing insights on how they should go about uh, choosing it. And uh, now for the future, we are a part of a work package that uh, looks uh, into uh, digital maturity and how and, uh, that may relate to um, creative um, aspects of um, uh, how children work, uh, their memory style and, and so on. So we are going to, do, to be doing some experiments, uh, giving simple tasks to um, to children to see how much they can remember, for example, or how they associate things, or um, uh, how they can come up with creative uses uh, of an object, and see whether their answers correlate somehow to um, how digitally mature they are. Hmm. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're tr we rushed a little bit with time because we have to make sure that this happens before the, the schools uh, close. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, fun stuff on the way. Yeah. One of the challenges of uh, studying digital maturity is that it can be understood differently from different perspectives. And actually, this is one of the strengths of the Digimatics project. So, in addition to um, our interest in the information systems, blending of technology and management and everyday life, we have colleagues from other universities that uh, adopt a sociological perspective or um, a developmental psychology perspective, or even an ethics uh, perspective. So it is really very exciting to see how we, those different perspectives can come together to give us not necessarily a unified, but a diversified and rich view of uh, digital maturity.